I fly so high to run away from the drama. Hold on, I review my karma. Please show me the light and make me go faster. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to another episode. It should be episode two that you're watching right now on Edsky TV, the Edsky TV Net Show, where we're supporting international UK artists all over the country, worldwide. Wherever they are, we'll find them, we'll have them on the show, signed on sand. Like we've got HU and Tizzy in the house, also known as Hunt. And that's the alphabet. P's and C's, the Fed say, hands up like we're playing we B I M P papers in my pocket. And in the NG, papers is a topic. If you haven't Hunt. got it, then you're on nothing. Something like a federally sitting down in traffic. I don't know who Hunt is. Hunt's a massive UK artist and he's smashing up the underground scene at the moment. Like he's got the big banger out there, Treasure Hunt. He's got the No Sleep free download out there as well. That was featuring Benny Bats, Propane, Squeaks as well. We've got the tune Understanding on iTunes at the moment. Like is there an actual mixtape? Like what happened with, um, what's it called, Capital H? Capital H, um, I wanted to put that out, but like it just didn't go to plan. It like took too long to put out. So what happened was I ended up just putting it out on free download on Datpiff and just put the link out there and all that. So. People could cop that now, like what's yeah. the website to catch on? Datpiff.com, type in Hunt, you see about four or five mixtapes of mine, all free stuff, free. all free. Well, like, how long have you been doing like the road music and everything, like how long have you been spitting yourself like where people have been listening to your music, like where would you say it's picked up from to? I've been rapping for the longest of time, it's just only now people are giving me a, like a little recognition and that whatever, but I started spitting like 2004, 2005, and like had a little buzz them times, if you get what I'm saying, but then it kind of died out. Then I just plugged away at it, kept up, and then I'm here now. You know I mean? And with the tune, I'm understanding that like, you're shooting a video for that at the moment, isn't it? Like, when would the video be up? That's in like in progress at the moment. See, today we went and took a, we did a, the second scene of it which was, like you see the like the little snippets of the behind the scenes out on the internet so you, you'd be updated so you know what's going on but we got a meet up next week we're gonna do another scene then my day will be like a week after that possibly then you know it's a good look right now like you got the um tune on itunes and everything called understanding like make sure you look Go on there and support that because it is a massive tune. What would you say to some of the young artists out there that just go studio, spit a 16 on a tune or make a tune, put it up on YouTube? It's like they don't really know what direction to go and like how to actually, you know, get onto Channel AKA or get someone phoning you saying, look, I want to sit down and do a little business deal with you. Like how important is it to get your business side of things sorted? You need to know your business of this music else. You're not going to get nowhere. Definitely. You can't just think you're going to do music, just write bars and not know the other side of music like you can put your videos up on like the youtube and people can watch your videos convert it and put it on their thing and then that's it you've just given away free music the idea is to give out some free music but then at some point get paid for some of your music do you understand so you need to like whatever you don't know like you can do what i did and type it in google and you find out, you find out about PRS, you find out about iTunes, you can find out about your PayPal. You, you understand, like, there's certain avenues you need to take. You being, like, Hunt and that, how many people would you say would holler at you from different countries and have anyone hollered you from different countries? Because people would look there and think, oh, no one's heard of this guy, like, no one's really, no one really knows about him outside of London. Like, how many people and like, where have they hollered at you from? Recently, because I've been, like, paying attention to things, Whereas like, before I never used to talk to people on the Facebook or the MySpace or if you contacted me. Whereas now, I feel like I need to find out, you know, like find out what's going on. So if someone hollers at me and has a general question, whether it be about music or what to do or whatever, or where they can get my music, I speak to them and find out. Through that, I find out like, there's people in Ireland hollering at me saying like, we need to get your music down there. I've been watching you on the internet. Newcastle, Liverpool, you know, like the list goes on. It's just getting my music to them now. Anyone that like, hollered at you from like abroad, like somewhere where you would, would never have expected? I spoke to someone from Canada the other day, said that he's pumping my tunes out there and he's been sending the, the datpiff.com links around to his friends and stuff, and he's getting good feedback and that. So I've got to get that single out there. It's very important to like network on the internet, the internet and that, because whereas back in the day, it's like you couldn't go on a computer 
and talk to someone in another country, you know what I mean? You'd have to go to like them phone shops or something, go buy a card or <laughs> it was all on the phone and that, do you know what I mean? And what's the next project to look out from you? Like what's the next like single mixtape? Like what's coming out next? I've got a long line of things coming up. The next project I've got out coming out after I've done the video for Understanding is another single off of the same you know like it's a free track album yeah. basically I've got another song called Up With The Stars that I'm going to be putting on iTunes and doing the same process that I'm doing with these what you've just seen with Understanding yeah. also I've got Treasure Hunt which is like it's a mixtape but I would class it more like an album because they're all original beats and they're all concepted do you understand so I'm going to I'm going to push that one out I've got something with Propane that's like a you know a mixtape but we know that I know I'm good Propane knows he's good so the material that we're going to come up with can be sold so I've got that coming with him and I'm also working on something with my boy Bungle yeah. so it's a lot of stuff so there's like loads of stuff to look out for so like what, what would be like the main place on the internet that someone could log on to a computer and then like find you would it be like just type your name on Google yeah. like Facebook at the moment you can add me on the Facebook which is Leon Hunt I'll accept you and, you know, you can see my stuff from there. But I've also got a website. Now, it's not fully completed, but that will be finished within the next two weeks, let's say. You can go on that and check off. you find, you find everything, yeah, on this website. It's going to have everything. It's going to have videos, links, downloads. Some of the kids was actually asking, like, if there was programmes available, would you actually, like, go to schools and talk to some of the children? Definitely. Definitely, I've got a son myself, so I'm, you know, I'm around kids like that. They're the majority of the people that listen to my music, so I, I interact with them. That's, that would be good publicity for me. Like they might hear you on a tune that their child's listening to at home, could be 15, 16, whatever, how old, however old they are, and there's certain lyrics in there that they might find influence the kids to do wrong do you get me to go out there and do wrong and do like silly things and do you know what I mean like do you feel like your music influences them in a bad way I wouldn't say it does I wouldn't say I really wouldn't say it does because what I'm talking about is the things that I see the stuff that you've been through stuff that I've been through things around me that's going on like I don't so I, I, I try not to glamorise things I don't make things sound like oh yeah like I might say this happened but I never said it was good that it happened do you understand like it did really happen like it, you know like I talk about consequences of things so I can't really say I'm influencing some got masked up like Halloween West End shopping Panasonic screens but on the flip side you can call it side B because if the stick cries a parents in agony I never kid dies fam that's a tragedy I live a street life so don't be mad at me I've got street wise to not pay the penalty no cards in my hand but I'm the referee that means I call the shots my old Boss, I got stopped like a corner shop And I came from the corner where they called the cops Have to move so sly like a cornered fox If you was to do a track Cause you know like you have like certain grime artists do a hip hop tune With some of the hip hop artists Or like they'll just jump on a different beat together That won't be hip hop, won't be grime, whatever Like what grime MC would you work with on a track? Someone like Ghetto Cause I know that he's like lyrical So he'd give me a challenge if we come up with the right subject if you get what I'm saying it would be crazy you know like yeah. I'm a metaphor king he does the same thing so the last question from from like the fans and that would be like you can't name someone you've done a track with like your top five MCs out there you'd have to put like them in categories it doesn't have to be in order so there's like a lot of people that I do like I listen to and do rate you know like because I can see because I do music myself so when I see someone else spitting I try and break them down like how did they come up with that like their formula yeah. so like when i see someone else that's they've grasped this thing like they know what they're doing so i can rate them still but there's people like wretch yeah wretch is like make you think yeah. three or four times you have to like stop you have to understand what i'm saying you have to stop yeah. the track and like back it up like yeah. so like it's crazy wretch um wiley because he's just he, he's always been there he always evolves you understand like yeah. One of the big. When you think he's finished, yeah. he when you think he's finished yeah. nah, nah, he, 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 he evolves. He's always there. He's always there. You can't really knock him. There's like um like singers like you know like Lock Essien. Yeah. He's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Labyrinth. Yeah. 
people like that do you understand like they can bring a different wave to the the thing um black the ripper it's hard because he's not like he doesn't drop metaphors he's energy and like message bars and he's enthusiastic i like his work rate i like that he's always on it do you understand looking for the belly like sperm in a nutsack yeah. early morning yawning getting up uh, maybe i'll get up on my grind to get a job maybe. or maybe i'll get on the grind to sell a drug uh, either way today be a treasure hunt treasure. Huh. and it's all for the queens niggas walk with machines running yard with that pause in the scene skate with your ice tall and every week yeah we ask like a hood question yeah and it's like, you know, obviously the hood question is just like, we asked the um, same question in the first episode. It's like, what precautions do you take as hunt, as being hunt every day, like to basically avoid going to prison or to avoid like basically, God forbid, something bad happening to you? I just try and keep a level head around me, innit? Like, I make sure whatever I'm doing, I do it sensibly, innit? Like, uh, uh, maybe you know like maybe I won't go certain places if you get what I'm saying like if I know that it's going to be problems with you I'll just I try and stick to music to tell you the truth and raising my son the realest of it isn't it like it all changes when you have kids and that man. I'm telling you it's mad but yeah Edsky TV net show like, is there anyone you want to big up on that? I have to shout out Final Touch for what we're doing right now shout out man like Westy he keeps on supplying me with beats Blacks Probes Squeaks Banks, Bungs, Tanner, you know, like the people that's around me. Bondage. Yeah, the people that do this thing with me. Tall man, because he would be vexed <clears> if I didn't say his name. You get me? Just, you know, I'm fam. Smitty, you done now. Alright, so you know how we do it every week. I'm just going to pass the mic over to Hunt and um, get a little a cappella. Edsky TV, next show. Hunt. Yeah? Alright. We're going to go in little saying for you it's like every time that i grind on these mean streets i go home write lines on the mean beat i'm able to make you see it in 3d so they recite what i say like a retweet real talk cuz the roads have been horrible no one ever gave me the answer like the oracle that means i went thinking about probables we were out here trying to do the impossible when times are hard hold my head up like a collarbone I see the feds on the corner so I gotta go Yesterday's history, tomorrow is the future Today be the present but not a game on computer It's a time crisis cause if they aim it and shoot ya The ambulance don't arrive then your face on a t-shirt Fam, cause this is life in the real world But I still make you see the picture like Spielberg I was chilling in my yard as a bun herb Thinking to myself, why the F am I unheard? Cause this boy's got bars like Wandsworth I'm a real all star, no converse Follow me cause he let's go onwards I'ma take you to a place where the gun bursts Life's a race and I'm just trying to come first At heaven's gate saying sorry cause I done dirt I'm in my zone but out of my comfort But that's how it goes cause money always comes first Money over dumb girls follow me to our world Can't tell the little younger shit they follow our trail So when you see them with nine shells Believe it can fly, R. Kel I stay up to the time like cartel Trying to pass each and every test so a car fell You done though, hate you and dizzy Treasure hunt, understanding, go cop it. Yo, this is Cartel aka Techno. Now you're watching Edsky TV Next Show. Daniel, keep it locked. London to Turkey, volume business.